Good afternoon, UCF, and welcome back to our NSM Today webcast. My name is Gia Doxy. I am the editor-in-chief for the summer 2017 session. To my right is Brian Goins, one of our co-sports editors. Brian, let's get into sports news. Let's do it. All right, so Matt Williams, who holds the record for most three-point shooting from last season, Correct. is really fighting to get on that NBA roster. Yesterday, mm -hmm. he had his best performance with five three-pointers at yep. the Summer League Games in Las Vegas. Could you tell us more about Matt? Yeah, so Matt Williams, who holds the record for most three-point shooting in a single season, most three-point shooting in a single game, and most three-point shooting uh, attempts made, or three-pointers made in an entire UCF season, is playing for Miami Heat Summer League team. He was nursing an ankle injury for about a week. Um, he missed the first four games of the five uh, Orlando Summer League games in, in Orlando. Um, he's now in Las Vegas. He played the last two games, and yesterday he played against the Washington Wizards, scored 17 points in 24 minutes, made five of eight three-pointer attempts and six for nine shooting. Um, they won against the Wizards 9-187, and uh, just shows that he's uh, just getting a lot more momentum right now. Um, definitely he's getting a, a lot more minutes from the coaching staff. He's starting um, since the last two summer league games. And it just seems to just be that he could have a chance of making the, the Miami Heat's training camp roster. So we could probably find that out maybe for the next month. Um, but something that we should look out for is uh, Pat Riley, who's the Miami Heat president, uh, mentioned yesterday uh, to media in, in Miami that um, he's looking to add one player to a two-way player deal. So the NBA roster has a limit of 15 players. Training camp, you're allowed to bring in 20. So the two-way player contracts, they're allowed to bring in 17 now, and that's part of the new collective bargaining agreement that the NBA signed this past um, league year. So just, just keep a lookout uh, to see if maybe he might get one of those spots. He said as early as next week, you can add one more player to the roster into a two-way player deal, and I think Matt Williams has a shot of getting one of those contracts. Yeah, we'll definitely keep an eye on him, rooting for him. All right, next we have Orlando Magazine that announced their top 50 most powerful or influential people in the arts and entertainment, and the UCF Athletics Director made that list. Could you tell us about him? Yep, so Danny White um, made, uh, got ranked number five in this list by Orlando Magazine. Um, he's, what's really interesting is he's been in the position for only 18 months compared to a lot of other people on this list. Um, so he's still very young into, into this position, but he's made a lot of uh, strides as far as gaining uh, donations and just releasing a lot of different campaigns, as we know about the Flex Village, the new Lazy River concept. But not just that, there's a new nutrition center he, that's in the way um, as early as next year. Um, expansion to the baseball park, which we'll get into. And uh, more than that, there's also a lot of uh, different amenities that he's trying to add into the football stadium. So just getting to see him that high in the list shows that he's making a lot of strides in, into what UCF Flex is willing to become, which he thinks it could be a top 25 intercollegiate athletic uh, program. Absolutely, yeah. So he's he's on his way to really make make a difference. Yes. Uh, let's get back into the baseball complex. Right. Can you tell us about new moves? That yeah. So uh, we should be finding out pretty soon um, as far as construction statuses on the new John Yulon Yon Park expansion, which is basically the UCF baseball complex. They just changed their name over. Um, John Yuliano is one of the board of trustees um, for UCF, and he donated two million dollars to the three point two million dollar uh, expansion to the baseball park. So we should be finding out more details about when they're starting construction. Could be possibly between October through February is when construction could take place. Um, so we could find out more during the board trustees meeting on uh, on July 20th. July 20th, correct. Yes, we will definitely be at that meeting on July 20th. And then more stuff we can uh, keep a look out for is nutri uh, Nutrition Center and possibly a project where they have to undergo a rest remediation process for Bright House Network Stadium, which is now Spectrum Stadium. Spectrum Stadium. Yeah. Right. Okay, so clearly a lot going on, uh, so definitely be sure to keep a lookout for us um, on our website at nicholsonstudentmedia.com and on our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at NSN Today. Uh, hopefully we'll see you next week and have a great day.